manually we will go around the software and get to know uh, the the components within it but that's how you you start up first by setting up your project folder next all you want to do is you click on new if you click on new project right so after clicking on new project you you see here it says well on title on title so you, you need to give the, the project a, a name right a title so you, let's say we start, the name we chose was motivational motivational a project and then you click the drop down here this drop this arrow here so you see here it says project location right project location in every other clips you are seeing here they are all like default clips that comes with the software just like what we're using wix or canva right they give you the clips for instance maybe you might need some of them to use in your video we can easily take them we we'll also play around with some of them so you after after renaming the project you need to select that folder that this folder that was created on the desktop this this particular folder that was created on the, on the desktop you need to make sure that you save your project here so that your project file whenever you make any changes within the software it is going to automatically save within this folder for you so every time you make a changes on the software it will automatically save for you in this folder depending if you chose this folder as if the, the project location right so we open it from here and we click the drop down and we click you come down here you click on choose location so when you click on choose location you click on desktop because it depends where you've saved your folder right this folder was saved on the desktop so we go to the desktop in order to save our, our project within it so we click on motivational folder and we click select folder so after doing that, the next thing you want to do is don't touch anything here. Just leave everything as it is. And you click create. So now we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. So after doing all of that, it takes you to the software to start. So this is called the panel, right? The editing panel. This is the timeline. And here is where when you are editing and you make a uh, you get to see the work you are doing on the video here are the tools that you use for the editing so this is the this is the panel of adobe premiere pro right so here this is where you input media so input media like sound like video um elements all those things you'll be using with the video this is where you do that so let's look for let's pick one blank video right let's let's put one video in that folder that was created in here the footages so i have some dumb videos that i have here let's see if we can use some uh what is it let's pick one of these videos and see if we can use it all right so we can use this and we can use this we can also use this we can use this so we look for a sound that we can use as background sound so as i was saying there are two uh, elements you are going to be playing with frequently when editing that is the in point in the out point the in point is, and the out point is like the start and the finish right so it's just basically where the, the clip starts and where it ends so it is a command that the software allow you to give to the that you allow you to use when editing so like this guy was sitting in the chair right where he started talking the rest of the clip from the first uh, from the zero minutes up to here there's nothing tangible there's nothing sensible he said right so 
if you want to just speak only the part that he says something sensible, what you need to do, you press I. You press I. I. So if you press I, you see why there's a highlighted, right? Can you all see something, the, the, the transparent white something here? Can you see it? Yeah, it's clearly seen. Yeah. So if you press I, just I, the letter I on the keyboard, it shows that the I means in, right? So this is the in point. Now you go to the end of the video. So that was where he ended, right? So the rest, the end of this clip doesn't, he didn't say anything. But right? he didn't say anything. So right at this play where he ended, and impacts countless generation that is the out point so you press o if you press o it will pick up that place too so if you drag this clip from here it's, it's only going to pick up the place that you highlighted so it's basically telling the software i want here to here the rest of the other places in the video i don't, I don't need it that's what this is uh, trying to say so after doing that, what you, what you have to bring that now, you see why it is important to play the clip before bringing it to the timeline, if the timeline start editing, because you get to see where you made a mistake, which part of the clip is not properly, or uh, uh, was not properly sure, or you didn't say anything sensible that you can get rid of and take the only the part that makes sense to you and bring to the timeline. So after selecting the in and the out point, in point is I, don't forget, in the out point is O, don't forget. Now you you bring the mouse. Hmm? If you bring the mouse here to this thing that look like Q, right here. If you bring the mouse, this is for video only, and this is for audio, right? This is for video and this is for audio. You can better still choose to drag the video and the audio together to the timeline by bringing the mouse here in this space and just left click and drag it and, and drop it here where it says drop media here to create a sequence you drop it or better still now you see if you drop it it comes with it comes with the the, the clip and the audio right so let's say for example you're doing the editing and you don't need the 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 the, the, the sound you only need this clip right you only need this clip only how do you achieve that is you bring the mouse here when you bring the mouse there you will see a text there will be a pop-up text that says drag video only so you see it's giving you the the, the 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 five the five fingers right so that that's that tells you that this is responsible to drag the video only to the timeline so you you left click when you left click you see it, it, it becomes like something that is holding something together right like something that holds together and you drag it again to the timeline the same way. So this comes here without any audio. Now if you play, there's no audio. Just empty video. You see? So that's just empty video you have there. Right? That's just empty video. Let's say you only want the audio from this clip only. You don't need the video. How do you also achieve that is to bring the, the mouse here the, the the icon next that, that looks like wave next to this cube that looks like wave you bring this um finger there you bring the the palm there when you bring the palm you click on uh you left click and you drag it to the timeline so it allows you only to bring the clip the sorry the audio now if you play you have only the audio mind you at the timeline, there are two sections here, right? One is for video and one is for audio. So where you see A1, A1 means audio one. V1, V1 means video one. So if you drag, if you attempt dragging this audio to where, to V1, you see that I gave you a warning. It tells you that it's forbidden to go there, right? Because audio doesn't belong, they're only clips. Now if you take if you take this like this clip from here for instance i want to bring it here it also gives you a warning so it or, or, or video doesn't belong here right this is the video section 
Now you see you have A1, A2, A3. Right? What this means is there are some clips where you, you can you'll be working with, then you you'll be using more than one audio, more than one sound. Right? Let's say you want to add like background sound to this. You want to add background sound to this. What you do is you come here and just to export to sorry to import uh, media, you either press I, Control I, here, Control I, or you double click there. You double you left click twice, left click here twice. Now if you left click, you can go back to where you the folder you created for sound. This is, so you see the folder that we created. Now this is your project file. This file you see here with it. Premiere Pro icon on it. So should in case the machine crash or maybe is the machine is giving you issue that you're not able to use any more to, to edit. This project file, this entire uh, arrangement you made here, you can easily send it on a pen drive and take it to another machine to do your editing. So this is the this is what we call the project file. So it is a project file you'll be able to retreat everything you did previously on this machine to another machine. Any question at this stage? Any question, please? Uh, I want to ask questions, but right now, I didn't start the class, so I don't want to ask questions until maybe I will, I will, look, I will look at the, the, pre, the recording of Nick, which I think maybe I'm going to ask. Okay. Question that for instance. Mm -hmm. So from <clears throat> what I understood is that like for instance, like whenever you are editing video or audio, <clears throat> so for mm, from the uh, from the area where you you took this stuff from, I don't know when they 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 they, 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 they hands you know when you take the Sony from down there. So it means like whatsoever there's video, you cannot attach audio to that. Only video or what? I don't yeah. understand that area. What I was trying to say here is. If you look on the timeline here, yeah, V1, V1, V2, V3, right? Yeah. All these areas are only for clips. So this software, sometimes we are not going to be working with only one clip. Like I have more than one clip here, right? Let's see if I want to bring another clip here to this timeline. For example, let's see this clip. I can bring it down to, uh, to this portion where another clip is see you have that clip so you v1. have to it, yeah you can bring it to v1 because v1 wow. is v1 is already occupied with another clip okay do you understand so I they understand. gave you another area just like it's just like you having food in your mouth already true and you want to add additional food that you know that you you realize that it's going to fill up your mouth and if you're, not, if you're not careful, you might not be even able to swallow it properly. So, here yeah, gives you a space to be able to to be able to arrange more the different clips. Let's say, for instance, you see, so you can be switching between two different clips. Let's say you have two different scenes. The, the first scene, the guy said the aim is to build a global multimedia film, and this other man is talking about something yet different. You understand? So it helps you to switch to, to create multiple scenes. Like multi camera, it's called a multi cam. So you can create more than one scenes. By okay, adding, okay, yeah, by adding videos, mm -hmm. different videos to this timeline. But if it was just one slot, you know that obviously only one video good, and then you have to bring this one way here. Even though you can still do it here, but with the multiple slots, what it does is that it helps you to be able to switch. So this can be playing, for example, let's get creative a bit. This can be playing and I can add this here, right? I can add this video here. Just try to adjust it a bit. What I'm, what I'm doing is trying to adjust. I'm trying to adjust the clip. Let's put okay. it. Yeah, I'm trying to adjust the clip here. So to adjust the clip, you have to come at the end of the clip and then you see this. The thing that looks like it, it, it wants to drag something. So you click on it. You take it to the right, or you click on it, take it to the left. So what I want to indicate, like, uh -huh. what is the impact that that is going to do? Like this, it, it help you to stretch the, the clip. 
yes. it helps it helps to stretch the clip okay. either stretch the clip to the right or to the left that's what it does huh okay okay yeah so like you can have this guy will be playing and you know this one come in and it goes like this on and on and i can still bring by this clip okay in case you want to add audio to in an audio yeah we'll come to the audio we'll come to the audio now after this we'll get to the audio aspect of it okay this is just the video right yeah this is just the video okay so after this video play let's say we drop it here and we allow it to, to drop here again play and another one drop here so you see sometimes when you're watching uh videos you see they 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 are switching you see why this is called the wire shots and close up as you dive deep in it as you get to make a lot of research you get to understand the kind the types of shots you understand camera angles and all these things but for now let's focus on understanding the software so that we don't confuse ourselves all right so this helps you to add multiple clips and just get creative with them all right so that that's why and also here this slot the a1 a2 a3 this is a voice right we want to add audio to it as you said so we click here sorry we click here and we go to our sound folder open our sound folder click on this soundtrack and we open to bring here so it's the same procedure you you deal with with the clip you can do the same with the audio as well so how to do that is you click on the, the audio and drag to the source panel don't forget the name of this you see here it says source so this is called the source panel so you click the audio and drag here and you see you have an audio right so if you play it if you play sorry let me reduce the sound because my roommate is sleeping if you play this you see if you play this you realize that you can take the audio as the same thing the same procedure you do with the, the the video audio or the clip and you can decide where which part of this uh soundtrack to use so if you don't like to use it from the from the very beginning you want to use it in the middle whatever part of it that makes sense to your video right so if it makes sense from the beginning and it corresponds with your voice <laughs> You can take it from the beginning. If it makes sense in the middle and it corresponds with your voice, so you will have to listen. So if you listen and you know that, for instance, let's say here, that here makes sense and it corresponds with your voice, you just press I. Right? And you take it again, you allow it play, go, go, go until the part that makes sense, you press O. You click, don't click the video. You see here it says drag video only. This is not a video, so you cannot click drag video only. What you need to click on is the audio, drag audio only. So you click on it, and you bring it to the timeline. Right? So this, this down here, this you see here. Sorry, there are two people in the waiting room and made them. This you see has also helped to stretch the timeline. So you can play or you can click on this to stretch the timeline to be able to see your work closer or to bring it near and, and be able to make some changes. So you want to resize, you want to resize this audio and make sure that it is at the same length of the clip, right? So you click on it, you, you bring it closer until you see this, this black line. It, it tells that this, at this point, the audio is in line with the, the video. It has the same length for the video. So you leave it at that point. So if you stretch it and you know, you can do the same thing in and out here. So you select, you do your in and you click I. Then you, is this, it's, it's like zoom in, zoom out. You zoom out and come here. Come at the end of it and press out. So you hit the enter key. So every time you hit, you press the play, 
it will start from exactly the, where you 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 selected the in and out. The in it will start it will start from the in and out point. So you hit the enter. You see. So it starts it start playing, right? So you can you can hit it again. It will start playing from that end. The reason why it stopped here because that was where. So you see, what you what you stop the 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 what you what you select as your out point. Is where the software will assume that this is where you want to stop. So when it gets to that point, it automatically stops. So you, if you were to to stretch the the out point, you can easily take it to, uh, at the end of it. The same with manually, or you just drag the this the timeline and you you press out, press out, and it's going to stop at that point which you selected so you can play from the beginning and be able to see what you did so that's how you play around with it adding background sound to it and how do you adjust the the volume of your audio is this the same thing we have here right this zoom in and zoom out is the same we have here but this is just for up and down this is the x this is the X uh, plane and this is the Y plane, right? So to use it for the, the X plane, it takes it straight back and forth. But with the Y, it takes it top to bottom. Top to bottom, as you can see here. So what you do is, when you click on it, you know that you're not seeing the down properly. You can select in the middle, drag it a little bit to where you want it to stop, and then you, you zoom in again. Then you click in the middle, drag it a little bit. Now, if you come to the audio, you see there's a line here in the middle of the audio. Right? There's a line in the middle of it here. How do you reduce the volume and increase the, the volume is to bring the mouse pointer here, click on it, and then drag it down. As you see here, as you bring it down, it's decreasing. And if you take it up, it's increasing. Just like that, that's how you play around with your know, increasing and decreasing the sound. You can do the same for your clip. You can do the same for the, the, the this is your voice, right? So this is my voice for this video. This is not, this is the soundtrack. So what I would do is I click here, bring it down and take it up, bring it down and take it up. So you have to listen when, when editing, you need to have a speaker around you or an earpiece where you'll be able to listen and see the effects of what you are doing so this tool can be confusing these clips that you bring to the timeline you can change the color you just click on the clip and you right click right right click you click on label you come to label when you click on label you see we have violet irish currently we have irish caribbean lavender and so on so the one you are interested in, you can click on, let's say we want yellow because we want to have a distinction, right? This is, this will help you to have a distinction so that you don't have more different, like plenty of clips on the timeline with the same color, you'll be confused. So let's say if this is your, your, your wide shot and this is your close up, you can change the color to be able to quickly understand when editing, when editing large amount of clips. So when you click here, you see that now there's a distinction here. You can easily tell the difference. So that's how you go about doing that. Any questions so far, please? Guys, please ask me questions, please. Sorry. Oh, I will ask. Well, yeah, recording, right? Well, I can hear because, you. Because uh, I came, yeah, I came a little bit late, so I will just look at the recording later. Okay. Any question, guys? So far, check Abu Bakr. Yeah. So, oh, so, um. You talk about the sound with the, what you can reduce the sound. Mm -hmm. 
that me that mean to say that like if the video is playing that sound like normally honor the the video like the individual was talking and honor mm -hmm. his voice there is a sound that is there right yeah so in sound. that sound you reduce or the yeah, anything that has to do with audio right anything that yeah. has to, anything that has to do with audio can be reduced on mm. the timeline so if it is for example sometimes if you bring the the, the soundtrack to the timeline and you place it on only this is my voice this is the soundtrack you'll realize that the soundtrack will be louder than the voice so in order to balance that what you need to do is to bring down the soundtrack a bit so that you, people can be able to hear your voice or get the message that you are giving out. Message. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you do it. Or if it is your voice that is louder than the soundtrack or your voice too, maybe you, the, the, when you shot the video, you shot the video and your voice is too loud, right? You can reduce your voice. Mm -hmm. You can reduce the volume here too. So that's what I was talking Thanks. about. Yeah. Do you understand now, please? Yeah, 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 I understand that part. Okay. Any questions, guys? Yeah, I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know. Yeah, as related to the, the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. So, what's the what's the role of the soundtrack of any video? Because you already get your voice that you you want for people to 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 hear. So, what's the essence you playing the, the soundtrack? And what's the the, the essence of the soundtrack of any video? The soundtrack, I think it, it adds some level of flavor. Like, for instance, these days, you need the audience on social media, right? People have this kind of concentration where they get more glued to your video if there's something in the background to entertain them. So the, 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 the soundtrack is basically there to just add some level of flavor to your voice. There are some people who will like the raw speech. Right, if the video that you are shooting require you to have a raw speech, fine. But if it is something that you need to have a little bit of soundtrack to add some flavor to your voice, at least to give the audience that listening pleasure, then that's the role of the the soundtrack to give the audience that unique listening pleasure. Ah, uh, all these things I was talking. So there's a cycle. When we choose it, let's see how it was looking, right? Yeah, yeah. This is the color we are. I told you at the, you at the top, at the corner here, you will see color. We discussed that at the beginning. Where you at see color? Corner. Your color. Left. You will see color. Mm hmm you click on color it gives you access to different different colors you see it these are yeah, colors you click on color it gives you different, different color uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay okay then we want to use the black we choose the black it changed to black yeah this is it but what if so, what if you don't have black okay black is there if you don't have black, black if, if you don't see black you see why you see this plus add, add a new color uh, you can you can create your own color from this add a new color you see the colors as yeah. you roll through you see the color change yeah. you see it gave you access to create thousands of colors, different different types of colors. They are here. There you go. Okay, so we got that. We we understand the tools, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's create a simple flyer tonight. Let's create a flyer. What do we do? We don't need this. So how page. you how you you you? Mm -hmm, how you uh, how you took the photo? I mean the the photo behind the the photo. I mean, I want to say that. 
How did you take that uh, frame to pass it behind the photo head? Yeah. 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 I put the cycle over the guy to know where I want to put it. Then you go to yeah. position, look for position. 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 On the, phone, on the phone you just scroll right you see position you see position there then when you click on on the laptop is at the when you count it from the right hand on the top yeah, 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 yeah. i've seen i've seen position you click on position position will tell yeah. you which position you want to place that particular element okay. that particular element you are selected so each time you select you yeah, see so uh-huh so you have gone back one i want to put it back one put it back one Boom. it is you get it, right it is now yeah yeah i'm following okay so we are going to design our own flyer. Now we understand the tools. So I always get the tools right. If you understand the tools, just just send an emoji. Just send me an emoji because I, I know some of us don't want to talk because of the recording. Just send me an emoji that you understand where we where we have react, reaction on the Zoom stuff. Send an emoji so I can know that, okay, we understand the tools. Okay, okay. We have one person who said they understand. Ba, ba said they understand the tools already. Thank you, Ba. Thank you so much. So we get to creating a simple flyer. What kind of flyer should we create? Somebody suggest to us. Okay, thank you, Abu Bakr. Thank you. What kind of flyer do you want us to create? Somebody suggest to us. Just type it or say it. Say what you want us to create. Maybe a wedding. A wedding flyer. Okay. How do you get it from the beginning? Who can tell us how do you get a template for a wedding flyer? Who can still remember? Who still remember how we get a wedding flyer? So you will you will go to the okay. search the searching area within that design, I mean where you have those flyer are, and then you write mm -hmm. there maybe a wedding a wedding flyer good i think we are getting something we are getting something so to design the first tools is design we go to wedding right we need a wedding mm -hmm. flyer and appear as soon as you click on wedding flyer you see you see wedding flyer appear right yeah the template appears right here right down here where the casa is wedding flyer so we need a wedding flyer these are wedding flyers different different templates different different templates different templates so let me pick one let me pick one free one and we'll work with it. Let's choose this one. This one is so simple. Let's pick another one. This was this one is so simple. Let's pick something that we'll do more more work on. This is a wedding flyer. This is where the the principles of design we started earlier comes in. We talk about balancing, right? 
they just want balance to come in the first one let's look at balancing how balancing come in you look here this one side mm. and this one too is what another side so the way, twisted are you seeing it the weight yeah yeah mm. yeah you have to work on more than so the weight is almost the same so the the, the design has been what balanced the design has been balanced and we talk about another one called uh, emphasis on the emphasis you will see the sizes of the text they didn't use this, this first text throughout. Am I right? They didn't use mm. they didn't use this one throughout. This first type of text throughout. Tell me if you use this kind of text, then the big one throughout in your flyer. How will your flyer look like? It won't look good. Then they came out. the flyer when you look here what do you see is the big one here the big text the big font here is what what the flyer is about yeah what the but so people can see what the flyer really is about it's about what fashion okay this one is fashion, fashion. we big i think the wedding one this one is fashion. So the flag is about what? Fashion. So as fashion. Prices, as the prices open your flyer, you send a, a white to somebody, they open the flyer, and they see the bold letter. The first one is what? Fashion. You don't have to tell fashion. them what the flyer is about. Do you? You have already what? You don't. You no, no. An information. You have already passed an information. That's what a graphic designer is. And that's who a graphic designer is. You pass information by using what? Text, shapes, colors, and images. So as soon as the person open it, the first information that we get here is what? Fashion. This one is about fashion. Fashion. When it's about presentation, as soon as you open it, let's get let's get another let's get another template so we can we can understand what we are up to. This one is not free. No, it's not free. But you can see the screen, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not free. I just want to explain something. When you open the wedding invitation, what the first thing you see there? Wedding. Promotion. Wedding promotion program. You see it? Wedding. Wedding promotion program. Huh? Why, why is this one balanced? You will see the wedding first, right? The wedding promotion. This one set. And this 25% off and this one. It's another one to balance it. This guy here and this one here. Balance. So this one here and this one here. Balance. Are you? So you see how you see how the, the principles are important now in the design. Yeah. So let's get let's get a design that we will work on together. There's a spot flyer. Let's get one spot flyer like that. And work on it. So we we can we can come up with our own design. Let me erase those things from the board. Okay. What is basketball. the about? Basketball. Basketball. Don't know. 
move this image. Let's see what canvas will do for us. I want to use do a basketball flyer for somebody. But I don't like this image here. Canvas have already designed what is there for me. This is the kind of design I like. But I'm not satisfied with this image. Can somebody tell me where can I get images from? If I don't want to download image from Google. So you you have error where I mean down to where we have uh, up, upload those no mm -hmm. not to okay. have photo. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think you should be from the upload, right? Yes, you are uploading. Upload yeah. is for what? Your own images. Uploading. You are uploading. But photos is where the kind of photos that canvas have for you. Okay. So let let's apply some of the things we have learned. Can we? But but. Uh... You have photo there, but like some of our we we don't have photo, maybe gallery. So what you do, you download your pictures. You don't have got photos, you have gallery, right? It's on the phone. Yes. You are yeah. using the phone, right? Okay, that's how sure. it works. So on the phone is gallery. Yeah. No. The one on the phone gallery, gallery there is the pictures you have already uploaded. That's your gallery. Or the pictures on your phone. The pictures on your phone is gallery. But there is photo there. When you get to a um, photo, you see it. Just scroll the screen going to your, your from your right to left. You will see photos. It's on the phone, photos. Because I have the phone open here and I also have the laptop open. So let me let me take you through from text, gallery, burn, upload, draw, project, apps, photos. That's how I look. So Those for me on my phone, I have design. I have design. Add and print, go. text, mm -hmm. gallery, mm -hmm. bro, mm -hmm. upload, draw, mm -hmm. project, apps, mm -hmm. and background. That's just all I have. That's all you have? Yes. Are you seeing any, like three lines at the end of background? Because it's not supposed to be like that. I have my phone. Who has, who has have it like that on their phone? I think you are the only one I'm because I have photos. I have photos on my own. So let's let's go. Let, let me download a picture about basketball. So let's say a uh, a basketball player. That's the image we want. That's the image we want this these are basketball players so let's get this one I, I think i like this one i sent this one to my laptop after saving it i download what do i do next to remove the background where do i go to so remove dot bg good remove dot bg when we get to remove the BG, you upload. This is the image. Upload it. Mind you, remove the BG. Only remove background from pictures that are saved with JPEG. JPG. Mm. JPEG. But if it's in another format it can't do it only jpeg if it's png it will not remove it only jpeg element uh, pictures so this is the picture i have uploaded 
and he have removed the bad one for me. Then now what I do, I download. I have downloaded it and get back to my work. Where am I working? In Canva. How do I get it? Upload. When I get to upload, upload a file. It will take me to what I want. I get my image uploaded. When you look over here, you will see the image uploaded already. Maybe you, sh you should see that some more. You see it? Oh, you see the image? Oh, oh maybe I don't mean that. I just yeah, see the image. Uh -huh. I just want to add another type of image so that that guy can remain there. So I reduce it. You see, you can reduce. As you scroll, you see yeah, how you scroll? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I want yeah, it like yeah. this. So, so for all now, like for me, I think what? we come to a finish problem with the uploading. The mesh so this is a basket. So you, you know what you are designing, what you are going for. You just get a template. There are lots of templates. Like I don't like the color. I don't like the color of the writing. What do I do? What do I do if I don't like the color of the writing? Eh, the color. Yeah. So you go to text. you go you go you go to text. Uh -huh. text you go to text. What next? Oh, you, you have that. Like, okay. Like text here, color. Right yeah, text color. You can see. Yeah. You can see here. Right? And there you can. You get it? Yeah. Me, I like it to be red. Why is it showing at the background and it's not showing on the main text? Can somebody explain to us? Huh? Why, why the red? I chose red right now for the text color. But when mm. you look, you want to see the red at the at the shadow. The background. It, it didn't affect the text. Only the shadow. Because it's the type of font um, that I'm using. The red is... Uh, Transparent. Okay, good. So how do you change it? Go to effects. Go to effects. <laughs> you see the effects? You get yeah. to effect. This is I stand in the shadow behind. I take this one. What do I do? I change the color of the shadow. Maybe I want the I want the shadow to be white. You see it? You see how it works? You go to what? You come to effects. Then you, you can change. Effects, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't need any shadow. I want to lift. And most of this thing, you can tap over it. You increase it. You can increase the size. If you can see it, it's working, right? You want to blur it. You can see. Sure, it. sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Like in the beginning, you use the tools oftenly. You will get to understand, understand it. Get your template. There are thousands of templates, millions of templates on Canva. What you need just to pick one. Just pick one and change. You change your date. And maybe you want to change the background. What do, you, do I do when I don't like the background? You see background there, right? Yeah, background is down. Background. So you go to background, you select, you select background. Yeah. Either background or you come to photos. Either background or yeah, photos. Yeah. Okay. So you get you get a background. Mm -hmm. I don't like I don't like this background. So what what kind of background like? Uh, let me go to photos. Maybe photos will give me a better one. Photo will give me a, a basketball. Yes, what 
Chelsea won. Basketball field. Basketball court. Basketball court. Nice. What did you see? But the problem is most of it, those pro things, they are what? Assume. Most of them are pay payable. Yeah, you have to pay. So let's get this court. This one is free. But what happened here? What did you see happen? It, it came as an image. It didn't so come. Yes. It didn't come sure. as a bag. It came what? As an image because we took it from what? The image. Photo. Why do you just expand it the way you want it? But when I expand it, what happened? It covered what? The photo loss. It covered the design. So how do I put the photos loss? Uh, go to the back. Huh? What position? Do position. Position. Yeah. Good. Position. We do it what? Send it to the back. We want it to the back. It's going to the back. It's going to the back, but my players are hanging. What do I do? Go to elements. Pick a shape. Now I need a cycle. What do I do with my cycle? Expand it. Expand the cycle like this. Because I don't want them to be hanging. So people don't know. I cover it the way I want it to be. But what happened again? I don't like this color. Let me put, let me change the color to what? Black. I change the color to black to give it more. So you understand the colors you are doing. Because it was red, this white was not showing. The red was not showing at me. So you can put a red on the red. Sure, sure. So you have to understand your colors too. You put white on white, it will not show. You put black on black, it will not show. So I changed it to, to black. Oh. It came back. I don't like the shape. I go back. I delete it. Maybe I like this other shape. I bring it what I do. I expand it again. You expand it. Good. The way I want it to be expanded. Oh my. I've expanded it. I go again and I change my color. Let's change. Let's change. What next do I do? If you want to so, dim the color, you go to transparency. Transparency. I dim the color. It's like people are getting the, the concept. So, like tonight. We'll just get a concept. I'll give a short as assignment. To, so I can know if people understand the tools very well. Then tomorrow we we'll just brush up before we continue with the last section. You see it? Are we together? Because it's getting late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting late, we need to run up. So what I will do, exactly. do this for me. Tomorrow we continue. Do this for me. Do me a flyer. I will put the question in the group. I will okay with, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll post. I'll post. Yeah. I'll post it in the group. So you you submit it to me tomorrow. We we'll, we we'll take a look at some of your designs before we we we, we continue. Okay. Count there. Do a flyer invite in, uh, inviting people for the training. The uh, the Q Visual Studio training. Using using almost the information on our own flyer. Look at our flyer and just create something like that. I will send the flyer in the group chat, okay? Sure. Okay. Design something 
If you understand the tools, it's very much simple. I will send it in the group, okay? So I'm trying to download pictures so that we all can see how to upload a picture from the desktop from your computer to Wix. So the first thing we say you do is come to click on upload media, upload from computer. So where I have the picture save is download because I just downloaded the picture, right? So I click it and I click open. So if you see here, the picture is uploading. It's uploading. So this is the picture. So if you want to use this picture, what we do, what do we do is what we do after selecting after uploading the picture here you select it and click on add to page now you see the picture is here so that's how you add picture from the desktop and also from wix so we'll go over it for wix one more time for wix you come here media from wix click the search box type the if the cup spoon or whatever you're looking for just type the name here just type the name here so we want flower we want summer flower right summer flower we hit enter so begin to give different types so let's say for example this is the flower we want we'll click on it and click add to page and then we have it so after doing all of this after doing all of this make sure to save if you just cancel and go you will not see the changes on your website so in order to, to, to for these changes to take effects is for you to be able to save it so if you save it you'll see it's loading here good after that you see the changes you have made here now you now close this tab and then go back to the website so if you see if we come here now what is the picture okay this yeah is it so this is the pic the the changes that was made this is the sunflower it says new and this is called the ribbon right so how to change this ribbon some some website you go and you see new sale like new arrival all those things it is a ribbon that they use to achieve that so it is that ribbon that you can you can play around with in order to to get that name that you want so if it is a new product you can see new arrival new sale or discount sale or whatever you want to see right so that is called a ribbon. So you see here in the ribbon section, what is here is called new. In the ribbon section is new, right? So let's say new arrival or discount sale. You can say discount sale. And then every changes you made, you make sure you save. You need to save before leaving, right? You need to save before leaving. So you click on save for this change to take effect on the website. Then after you close here, save before you, you. Now, if you come here, if you, if you come here now, you see discount sale on your products, right? You get to see discount sale on the products. So this is called a ribbon. So that's how, that's how you play around with it. Now you see we change this name to sunflower we change the price to 100 and we change this picture 
So in order to preview it, you click here. This thing that look like an eye. If you carry the mouse pointer there, you see you see the name like preview. So you click on it, preview. So you, the preview is meant to show you the changes you have made on the and what the website, what the the changes that was oh, sorry. <laughs> The changes that was made on the website how is it going to look like when you publish your site so this is how this website is going to look like once it is published so you see the images that we added as you bring the mouse over it it changes right so originally it shows you your first image the main image that was added now if you bring the mouse pointer there it shows you the second one right so if you have td45 it will keep flipping on and on to show you on and on like that so that's how you play around. So you can do the same for all of the products in this section. Guys, any question? Yeah, Mohamed Sano. Mohamed Sano, please go ahead. Yes, can it? Yeah, Master Quest. So I want to ask, how do we treat here? How do we what? To add a payment method, the payment method. If somebody wants to order a flower from online, to so add a payment method in case they want to purchase it on cards, Twitter, credit card, stuff like that. How do we add a payment method to accept online purchase? How you add a payment method, for example, if you want to be accepting payment through PayPal, you yeah, add PayPal, definitely. you add PayPal, PayPal stop. yeah, you add PayPal to this or uh, uh, products. So when people go, when they add this product to their cart and they go to do checkout, they will do the checkout through PayPal. Or better still, you can add a button here, like this button I was telling you about, we are coming to that. You can add a button here and link it with the uh, your payment options right let's say for if you want people to use bank like their credit card to pay right so yeah, you have you will have to link your credit card in the back end of this website so after linking so how do we do that how do we do that that's a we shouldn't jump the steps okay, let's no take problem, it no one problem. step at a time because what is happening now since you are already having a little understanding about this website thing if we jump in, it would give other people difficulties, those who don't have any understanding of how to go about this. So what we need to do first is to show them around how to play around and how to design this website first. That sure, payment sure, sure. option and other stuff, they, are, they can be the last. They are very, they are some of the simple, uh, simplest things to do on the website. But if you don't understand these ones, then it becomes difficult to go to those ones. Yeah, sure, sure. I got you. you understand? So we have to take it one step at a time. To ensure that everybody benefit from the training yeah 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 sure all right so mr sano all right guys it's okay it's okay first i was not getting it but it's okay yeah so we we proceed so that's how you you go about it and to continue editing, you go back to edit and you continue with your job. Mind you, designing a website on time, it takes, it takes a lot of time. So you need to be someone who is used to sitting down. Sitting down, like... Huh? Please mute your mic, yeah, please. Okay, so now let's let's come to this section. Let's come to this section. Let's go to the home section. How to play around with that too.
All right, so even in the picture, you also have at your your your, your home, right? This is the home section. This is the welcome, the learning page. Welcome. Somebody who is having their mic. So this is the the the, the home page, right? This is the home page. So we are trying to change the, the image here as well to play around with this. And how do you do that is you click on the image and come to change image. Change image, right? So you need to make sure you find normally when 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 designing a website, you need to find crystal clear images. You see the image the person is having on this template? It's something that is catching, like it's catching to the eyes, like something that, that that inspire people. Those are the kind of picture you use on the website. If you use blurry images, it makes the website very dull and unprofessional. So you, it's always advisable. They have a lot of sites. They have a lot of free sites. You can go, you can Google them. Like I said, make use of the internet. Check, ask type, something like free, free website. Or free images for website. Some of them you have to pay and some are free. So you have to check. Or better say you could use Wix. But sometimes you might be looking for an image and you will not find it with Wix. Right? So it depends what you want. So this side looks like uh, it's free. So let's search for flower. So they are giving us bouquet, they bring different different types of flowers that you can use. Okay, I think this one here is good. This is good. Now this side you have to pay. So you see, you have to check first whether it's a site that gives images free or it's for sale. So if you check and it is for sale, you go to the next one. There's some free sites that give you free images that you can use. Right, so we should not waste time on that. So that was just to give you a clue of how to, to check for these images. So you can you can actually use Wix. Let's use the Wix uh, media. Look for an image. So you check for the one you want that suits. This night. Okay, let's just try this one that the lady is holding here. So you see, we have a change now. Now we have changed uh, the first picture or the initial picture that was there to this one. 
So Sami Flowers, this is the home page and we change the image. This is our slogan, the start button. And we can also change this here. You need to get creative. Make sure that you're not using people's wordings. Make sure you use your own wording, use your own creativity. Right? Think about something. Create something. Go online. There are, there are thousands of or millions of people who are doing exactly what you want to do. So look at their ideas. From their ideas, you can come up with yours. But don't always don't copy and paste people. Like plagiarism is one of the higher is, is a very high crime in the world. So if you go and copy people text from their website direct to yours and you get caught in the process you could make somebody rich maybe for us who come from country like Liberia it's not, it's not a big crime but who knows maybe you might have the opportunity to go somewhere one day and you're running a very big business with people wordings all on your website or their images all on your website so be smart of the kind of image you use in the text so that's where creativity comes in Come up with your own concept. Do you understand? So you can change, you can change around, you can play around with it. You can also change this picture to something else that you want. By either using the same concept. So let's say, for instance, we we want to use this, for example. Okay, so we have changed that. We can also, so you click on change image, follow the same, the same step. Look around for a picture that you know that match or suit your website. Let's say for example this, this is a bouquet. And we also change it. So you can do it on and on and on for all the page, the, these images here. So this is a media, right? It's more like gallery. It's not, it's not even more like that. This is a gallery. This is a, if you pre preview it, you see that it's a slideshow gallery. So if you have more images here, as you're clicking, it's going to the next one, it's going to the next one, you're flipping on and on and on. So you can add your own images here if you want. So by clicking on manage, media click on manage media so these are the, the list of images you have there right this is one this is two three four and five to change it you click here and you come to replace image so you can either take it from Wix media or you can upload from your machine you can upload from your machine depending on what you want to do so it with works like you're spoiled with choice right you just need to get creative so you can either choose to get images from free stock images website or you can get it from Wix, or you can just get it from anywhere or you take your own images if you take your own images all you need to do is to put it on your machine Follow the same procedure and you put it on the website and be able to design there according to how you want. So it's just simple and straightforward. Once you follow these simple steps, before you know you have a like really professional website running and you're good to go. So we follow, we change the first one. We click update. We come to the second one. We click replace we look for images we look for images okay i like this one so you update no this one is the sizes okay so we click on the next one replace we scroll down look for where you want this is a so for me, what I, when I'm creating, when I'm designing a website, they can choice it. The work actually needs to make sense to me first. 
I'm trying to say, so it needs to make sense. To, it needs to start making sense to me. I need to start feeling what I'm doing first. You know, if I'm not feeling what I'm doing, the first thing I do is I close down my machine and sleep. Because sometimes you might try, 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 and you realize that, oh, your creative juice is not flowing. Close down the laptop and sleep. When you sleep, maybe probably you might wake up after some few hours or the next day, and you realize that you start getting some new concepts. So the creative aspect of everything relies on you. But to show you the way how to do it, this, this is the way that we are showing you now. But the creative aspect is about you. You are the one that needs to bring on that creative, creativity in them. So we go down, look for new images, update. So you can follow the same procedure, do everything. Let me fast forward it. And we do the last one. This one we look for one small and sweet simple flower. Let's try this. So you can preview it from here. So when you're finished, all you do is click done. If you would like to give the flower title, you can also give them title. Let's say uh, this one is love of my life. For example, go to the next one, give you another title, sunny day. Go to the next one, give you another name. Love in the forest. Go to the next one. Inside my living room. You can also add description if you want. Or a title. Say shiny glory. So when you are done, you just you can also add links. So if you have links, specific link that you would like to add to the flowers, probably maybe if people after viewing they can click to be able to redirect them to go and add a purchase or something else, you can add the link here. To it and when you are done when you are done you just click done so you see now it takes effect so let's preview and see so you see as I click, it's, it's slipping, it's slipping. So that's how that's how you get creative with this. That's how you get creative with it, and you just play around with it, add whatever flowers or whatever pictures you want to your liking. So now we come to the shop. So in case, for instance, you don't like something like okay. These buttons you are seeing here. You can play around with this section. So what you do first, you click on you click here and click on settings. So after settings, come to layout first. So the layout the way you want the flower to be structured, like 
for example, if you see them in the uh, slider more, right? We can change it to this. We can change it to this. So as you're changing it, you see it starts taking effects. Or you can change it to slideshow. Normally, I like slideshow without me clicking anything. I just like if once I, my website is people go on it, the, the picture should be flipping by itself like without me doing anything on it. So we come back again to settings, or you can set it back to the normal way it was looking. Play around with the layout as compared as how you want it. Come to settings. If you want people to be, be able to down the, the pictures, you can put that on. For them to be able to share it on social media, you can also turn that on from here. This thing is blocking me. Okay. If you wanted to be able to share your your products on social media, you can also turn that here. If you wanted to give you a hat, like if you want to add a hat icon to it, you can also do that here. Excuse me. So on and on this, they have different features here that you can play around with. Because the space is small, so I'm not able to go all the way down. But if you go through to the end, you see different features you can play around with. You can also add links to them. Open links, nothing happens. Open the full. So you can also play around with this too. You can also add design. So you can change the text. If you don't want text to be there, you can cut that off. There will be no text on the image. Or if you want text, you can add also. If you want a description, you can also do it. If you don't want a description, you can remove it. So you see, if we add a description, you see here, sunny day, love flower, love in the, all the funny, funny thing they are talking. Love in the forest, all the stuff. So if you don't want that, you can remove it. Or if you want, what you want it to, to display, you can decide whether above, on the image, underneath, or above, all that you can play around with this. So just get creative with these things. Take your time. Don't be high on yourself when doing this. Go easy, play around with it. If you made a mistake, keep doing it. That's how you learn. You learn. You made a mistake to be able to learn. The mistake will always prepare you for a success. So do not be afraid to make a mistake. Then you come to advance here. So one click, auto click, over, all these things you play around, play with sound, normal, all these features. There's times where you'll be building, you'll be designing a website and you come across something you don't know, go to YouTube, right? You might not be able to learn everything here tonight, but go to YouTube and ask how to do this. What's the function of this? Ask. And once you get there, take your time, make sure you understand that clearly before you move to the next one. If you're able to understand that, then you go by and practicalize it. Sit down behind your machine, Practice it over and over and over and over before you know you will master it. So guys, that's that's it for, for here. So we go to the next one. We go to the next section because of time.
I hope you guys are following. So like I show you for changing the images, you can do the same thing here. You can do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, we are following. And you can do the same thing for the section. You can do the same thing for changing the name, the prices and everything for here. You can also do the same for here. Right, so this section is, you can also edit it to what you want, right? This is for the menu, this is for the contact. So the location, let's say for instance, the business is located in uh, Edit Text first. The business is located in, let's say Saudi Arabia, I can say Medina. Saudi Arabia then I can put my email here as well any text I'll say Sami flowers art um, Hotmail Hotmail.com So we realize that the text the text dropping at this level which I don't like. So what do you do is you are standing a little bit, bring the mouse pointer here until you see the arrow to stretch this part. And you do that so you can stretch it until the text allow until it comes together oh it's trying to mess Whenever there's a mistake, you do control Z, the normal control Z to, to take you back to where you came from. So, what we need to do is to create a little space here. We can shift this a bit. I think this item is grouped more than that. So you can push this one a bit with the pointer. Okay, so let's just reduce the text. Summiflow at hotmail.com. And you can change also change the, the telephone number here with your own number the two three one five five six. 